An earthquake strengthening project which could cost up to $180 million has been approved for Wellington Central Library. Despite popular support for demolishing and building a new one, the council this morning opted instead to strengthen it to the highest standards. Our Wellington reporter Harry Locke reports. One and a half years after the Central Library was closed down and enveloped by hoardings, the council has now finally decided just what to do with it. With five options on the table, councillors unanimously supported the third, high-level remediation. Keep the existing building, but bring it up to scratch, make it as safe as possible and give it an interior facelift. The Mayor, Andy Foster, describing today as a good day for the city. We're going to end up with a more resilient building. It'll be more open, it'll be lighter, it'll be modern, it'll be flexible, it'll be able to meet the needs of our diverse community. It is a vote of confidence by this council in our city and I think we should just say, let's do it. The decision has the approval of the people who are sunning themselves outside the library this lunchtime. It's the right decision. I mean, we should just get over the fact whether people like the building or not, they should just fix the damn thing and strengthen it, and it is what it is, and it's a great building. It works really well. People love it. Fix it. 100%. Might as well restore something than chuck it down and waste your resource and get more complications. Well, as a ratepayer, I'm always interested in how much things cost, but I think it's a building worth restoring. It's worth getting it back to to a state that's earthquake-proof. It's expected to cost somewhere between 160 and $180 million. The only other realistic alternative to consider was the equally expensive option to demolish the existing building and build another one on the same site. Indeed, that option had the most public support, more than 40% of all submitters. The lone voice of dissent, Councillor Malcolm Sparrow, used this fact as the basis for what he saw as a golden opportunity to build a new library. One that is designed for the 21st century. One that is fit for purpose and highly resilient. Better value for money on an ongoing basis. Will last longer and is probably less likely to be plagued by escalating costs. But Councillor Fleur Fitzsimons says there's been a number of significant changes since that consultation was completed, which she says changes the picture. Many of those people were influenced by cost. We now have much more useful cost work. I think if you unpick the reasoning for it and you consider the further design work that's been done, that it actually would have been, I think, more expensive to demolish and rebuild. Councillor Tamitha Paul, meanwhile, says it would be a good building gone to waste if demolition was the chosen option. I was really concerned that it is so wasteful to just destroy a building like that and, you know, for every tonne of concrete that is poured, that's a tonne of carbon into the atmosphere. So I'm really happy that we'll be able to salvage this. The building is currently subject to an application by Heritage New Zealand to get it certified as a Category 1 historic place. The threat of legal action if demolition was chosen was another sticking point. Councillors worried opting to knock it down and start over would cause delay after delay. This is about being pragmatic. The advice we've got is that we can do this, do it quicker, and we, we can get everything that we want while, trying to avoid a, while avoiding a fight that we probably would have had had we gone down a different option. With strengthening now finalised as the way forward, the library is expected to open in May 2025. For Checkpoint, Harry Locke.